My name is Jeff Hewlett. I'm a decision confidence builder. I'm a behavioral economist and I've been in banking and financial services most of my career. I'm also a faculty member at James Madison University and I'm a personal finance author. Today, we continue our monthly series on success. All month long, we explore the habits and behaviors of success, not the least of which is good decision-making coming from a consistent, repeatable decision process. My book, Making Choices, Making Money, is full of suggestions and provides smartphone tools to help you make the best decisions. Man cannot discover new oceans unless he has the courage to lose sight of the shores. These wise words were said by French author André Gide. Today, I will show you how to make investments in your future and achieve success. Sometimes this includes losing sight of the shore or getting out of your comfort zone. This is done with the one resource we all share equally. That resource is time. No matter who you are, there are 24 hours in a day and 168 hours in a week. This is pretty inspiring, especially since wealth inequality is a challenge throughout the world. Inequality is annoying, but the great wealth equalizer is time. It is how we each use our equal time to create value that is our great opportunity. Psychologist Carol Dweck is a mindset expert. Think of mindset as the imagined environment our mind creates for us to predict and navigate the uncertain future. Our mindset impacts our motivation to step into that uncertain future. Dweck explains our mindset along a continuum with two kinds of mindsets categories anchoring each end of the spectrum. Those opposing mindset categories are the growth mindset and the fixed mindset. The growth mindset describes a way of viewing challenges and setbacks. People with a growth mindset believe that even if they struggle with certain skills, their abilities aren't set in stone. They believe with work, their skills can improve over time. People with the opposite belief that abilities are what they are and won't change. They have a fixed mindset. They think that their skills won't improve over time, no matter how hard they try. Or even if they do improve their skills over time, the fixed mindset worries their improvement will not be rewarded with opportunity. We will focus on using a growth mindset as a catalyst for investing our time. I provide a framework for rising out of fixed mindset. This leads to prioritizing your time via growth, the growth mindset for maximizing your value. In total, our time resources are about 170 total hours a week or 24 hours a day. We may consume the time resource today or we may invest it for the future. We separate time into two chunks. Think of these chunks the way an economist thinks about savings and consumption. Savings is defined as consumption in the future, whereas consumption is defined as consumption today. So the only difference between consumption and savings is the time in which we choose to consume that resource. The first chunk is our time consumption needed for sleep, sustenance, and work. Think of chunk one as time we must spend to this, we must spend this week to live. This leaves about 80 hours for savings and investment in chunk two. Please notice for consumption-based chunk one, food and sleep are the absolute minimum time needed to survive. The food and sleep needed to thrive in the future-based second chunk are coming up next. For our second chunk, we need to sleep and eat for our future well-being, exercise, and to manage our life. Everyone's daily needs are a little different, so the chunk components may vary a bit for you. Of course, treating your time as an investable currency takes practice and discipline. Let's dig into what is meant by the time investment. As a rule of thumb, your time investment is how you deploy your attention. It is what we attend to and the quality of that attention that creates or does not create 
value for us. As an example of potential sub-optimizing attention, large social media platforms have figured out how to tap into monetizing your attention. Some people would much rather scroll through the social media, through their social media to attend to other than attend to other life investments. The point is that success comes from respecting our time as our most important investable resource to both improve the quality of and the prioritization of our attention. Success comes from being intentional with how you invest your most valuable time resource. So after our fixed investments, this leaves about 60 hours per week available for a forward long-term investment. Oh, wow. So what are you gonna do with that massive 60 hours per week investment? If you have a growth mindset, you will seek new and expanding opportunities. You will take reasonable risks. In an earlier vidcast, we discussed putting your time, talent, and treasure at risk to achieve growth. <coughs> so sorry, excuse me. We showed this in the context of our preparation and pursuing opportunities. This weekly time war chest is your biggest asset. It is available if you properly attend to it. In my book, Making Choices, Making Money, you can access apps and other resources to help you make the best time investments. Next time, I'll be introducing two new friends, Natalie Fratto and Tina Selig. They will both help us discuss adaptability. Dr. Selig of Stanford University explores harvesting the winds of luck to achieve success. Venture capitalist Natalie, Natalie Fratto describes how she selects venture founders for investment. But until then, you've got this.